Okay, so I trimmed a little bit there. Looks pretty good. Second attempt. Um, so, neuroplasticity. <clears throat> um, neuroplasticity is the elasticity of the brain. It can stretch, it can bend, it can rotate, it can not, not physically, but in its coding, the brain, it's elastic. If you want to use physics terms of, of Einstein, it's spooky how elastic it is. Um, because it's going into the realms of quantum physics. It's doing very odd stuff, the brain, in neuroplasticity. Um, it's not basically doing this. It's rotating. It's dreaming. Right? This is a basic function. We can see it, we can understand it. The brain does not work that way. This is a basic function, all right? We click it on, we click it off. We know what it does, okay? We can manipulate it. It does not dream. It does not go into quantum realms and do quantum calculations. It is a very basic calculator. Your laptop, your iPad, your iPhone, it's just a calculator. It doesn't do anything more complex than this. Nothing more complex than that. The brain is not like that. The brain is a quantum computer. It calculates even when you didn't input that in. This is an input going back and forth. That's an input. The brain doesn't work that way. It does calculations after the input. This is going left and right is done. One input. One. The brain has trillions, gazillions of inputs just from one swipe. It does calculations you did not input. And that's what going into dreams is. Dreams are calculated inputs that you did not put in, but the brain is calculating for, it's still a calculator, it's still a computer, but it's just very complex calculating where it does spooky stuff. If you wanna use Einstein's strangeness um, quote to it, it does very spooky stuff. Very quantum, um, in modern terms, it does very quantum strange stuff. The brain. So that's what dreams are. It just, it continues that input, right? So you had an idea, boom, you go to sleep, it continues that input. And I call this after image coding. It's just coding, it's not... It's not wizardry, even though I'm using spooky, I'm just using a simple physics. People of physics will understand. It's just, and, and something that um, um, layman people can understand. It's just spooky. But what it is in actual terminology is it's after image, after the input after image, imagery, because you dream image, 
after image coding. It is not random. Nothing is. Nothing in reality is random. It behaves randomly, but it itself is not random. It comes from a code. Um, so your behaviors, that comes from coding. Whatever you code into your brain, you behave that way. That's not random. Even though you behave randomly in the eyes of the public. Like, whoa, that person's random. But the input itself is not random. You placed it there. You coded that in. Um, maybe you coded in be more strange. You coded in be more Asian. Be more sophisticated. Be more something. And then it behaves randomly. But the code itself is what you put in there. Um, so that's dream. Dreams, um, it, in my terminology, it's, it's after image coding. It's a quantum, compu quantum computer coding. It continues its coding. You, did, you can't control it, but it itself is still coding. So yeah, so that's... Um, that's neuroplasticity and coding. Now, there's a lot I don't know. I don't know why ants follow a queen and not a king even. Why is it not a king? Like I know birth and all that, but how come there's no king and queen? It's just a queen, right? So I don't know, to, to, I like to simplify complex ideas, right? Okay, let, let's go into the animal kingdom and let's look at this most simple insect, animal. Most simple animal is an insect and, what the, and the most simple insect is an ant. You look at these ants, they're very, they, they, they live and move like programs, right? They're just, everyone's in a straight line, everyone follows the queen. That is it. It's simple coding. Why? Right? And then you can take that into biology. Why does a single cell grow, 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 grow into whatever it grows into? Plant cells, animal cells, human cells. Right? So... That's where that's where my research is on where I'm stuck at is I take it into biology, I take it into physics, I take it into psychology, I take it into archaeology, into um social studies, um our social behavior, what's what's the coding? What are we coding into our brain? Because it's it's affecting how we interact with each other. Um, and why do coding, even though now we know because it's a quantum computer, well, let's take it a step further. Why does it behave on its own? You look at the world, it's almost as if it's behaving on its own. This it. This person does an action, this person reacts, this person does an action, this person reacts. It's almost as if society is this living organism. How? How is it living on its own? There's no programmer. There's no one playing a video game programming these things. It's just, this person just came up with an action and then this person is reacting to it. It's, that's where I take it, where I take it into society where it's like, now look at society and try to figure out that coding because that uh, that's where I'm coming at here is what are you coding into your brain? 
because it's it's affecting how you interact with people. Um, so that's where my research ends right now. Um, I just haven't had time to go into it. Um, but that's basically what I have. Neuroplasticity, the elasticity, the spookiness, the spooky elasticity of the brain. And it's quantum coding. So, um, that's, that's basically what I... That's basically all I have right now. Um, yeah, it's, 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 the brain is spooky. It's, when I say spooky, it's a physics, um, quote from Einstein. It's very quantum. It behaves very quantum is what I mean. It doesn't behave, um, systematically. Right? It, it behaves in a quantum realm. Um, 